boys and girls. My name is Karen Colby and I'm going to come to you today as Mother Goose. I go into the classrooms and I read to boys and girls just like you. Usually when I'm in the classroom, I wear a mask because of the COVID virus. We sang a song, remember, about to keep healthy, you have to wash your hands, wear a mask, and stay six feet apart. Since I'm not in a classroom right now, I'm not going to have my mask on, <clears throat> but if I go into the classroom, I definitely would be because I want to stay safe too. Today I'm going to read a story that I wasn't familiar with. I didn't read this as a little girl, but it's called Dandelion. And if you look at it, he's dandy. He just looks dandy. And he is a lion, you can see. Let's see what happens, why he is in a story. One sunny Saturday morning, Dandelion woke up, and he stretched, and he yawned, and he jumped out of bed. After doing his daily exercises, Dandelion looked out the window, blinked his eyes, and said, I wonder if the mail has come yet. He put on his sweater and went outside to the mailbox. There was a letter, and it was written in fancy gold ink. Here's Dandelion getting his, getting his letter. It said, Dear Dandelion, you are invited to my tea and taffy party on Saturday afternoon at half past three. Come as you are. Sincerely, Jennifer Giraffe. Dandelion was very excited. Why, that's today. It's a good thing I planned to get a haircut. He's looking at himself in the mirror and he looks kind of scruffy. As soon as he had washed and dried the breakfast dishes and made his bed nice and neat, he ran the, down the street to the barber shop. Lou Kangaroo had a chair waiting for him. First he trimmed Dandelion's hair, and here you can see Lou Kangaroo trimming Dandelion's hair. Then he gave him a shampoo. Oh my goodness, boys and girls, look at this. You can't even see his hair, and you can hardly see Dandelion. There are so many shampoo bubbles. Dandelion thought he should have a manicure too. So he has a rabbit giving him a manicure, taking care of his fingernails. When Lou Kangaroo had finished, Dandelion looked a bit foolish. His mane, and mane means hair, his mane was frizzy and fuzzy and completely unruly. Look at him. He looks like a dandelion, doesn't he, boys and girls? Remember what a dandelion is? Dandelions are those pretty yellow flowers that grow in our yards. Sometimes we don't like them in our yards, and some people try to get rid of them. But they're very pretty, and they're fluffy and yellow. But that's what he looked like. Maybe a wave would help, Lou suggested, showing him a picture in the latest fashion magazine for lions. Dandelion agreed. This was exactly what he needed. So Lou went about curling his mane. And here's a picture of... Lou the kangaroo putting curlers in Dandelion's hair. He looked magnificent now. But now he thought he really should wear something more elegant than a sweater to this party. And he was going by the tailor shop. And the tailor shop is where they sell clothes, jackets, and pants and things. This jacket is the very newest style, said Theodore the tailor, and it just fits you. All you need now is a cap and a cane. Look at Dandelion. Happy Crane will be glad to help you. So Dandelion walked out with his new jacket. What a dapper dandy he had suddenly become. It's nearly half past three, said Dandelion. I've got just enough time to get something for my hostess. A lot of times if you go to somebody's house, boys and girls, um, you get a little something for the hostess, and that's what Dandelion was going to do. But here he is in his new jacket, his curly hair, his cap, and his cane. 
He does look dandy, doesn't he? A bouquet of dandelions would be perfect. So he went to the florist shop and bought some. He knew this tall door very well, having been here many times before. This was Jennifer Giraffe's house. He rang the bell. And when Jennifer Giraffe opened the door, she looked surprised and said, Yes, what can I do for you? Why, I've come to your party, he answered. Oh, I'm sorry, but you're not anyone I know, said Miss Giraffe. You must have come to the wrong house. And with this, she closed the door right in poor Dandelion's face. I'm Dandelion, he said. You've made a big mistake. But there wasn't any use knocking. The door stayed tightly shut. Poor Dandelion. Dandelion began walking back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth, and up and down the long block he paced. As he paced, the sky grew dark, and suddenly a big gust of wind sprang up and blew away his beautiful bouquet. Here he is, and here's the wind, and there go his dandelion flowers. And his snappy hat fell off and blew away. To make matters worse, it began to rain in torrents. Dandelion dropped his cane and stood under a weeping willow tree. And here he is. He's standing under the tree in a big, big rain. But the rain poured down and down and down through the branches. Dandelion was soon soaking wet and his curls came uncurled. He took off his jacket and hung it on the willow branch. Luckily, he had kept his sweater on. At last, the rain stopped, and the warm sunshine came beaming down. Dandelion decided to sit on Jennifer Cr Giraffe's front steps until his hair was dry. And here he is. He's looking very, very sad. The door opened. While he sat there waiting, he spied three dandelion flowers under the bottom step where they had been protected from the wind and the rain. He picked the dandelions and said, I think I'll try again. He rang the bell. Well, well, if it isn't our friend Dandelion, at last, said Jennifer Giraffe, we've been waiting for you for the past hour. I do hope you weren't caught in that awful cloudburst. Everyone at the party greeted him heartily. They were happy to see him. Later on, when all of the guests were enjoying tea and taffy, Jennifer Giraffe told Dandelion about the silly-looking lion who had come to the door earlier. Dandelion almost spilled his cup of tea as he reared back and laughed uproariously. Oh, that was me. I was the silly-looking lion. Miss Giraffe was so flustered, she got herself all tangled up in her long pearl necklace. Oh, I do apologize for having closed the door on you, she said. I promise to never do that again. And I promise I will never again try to turn myself into a stylish dandy, said Dandelion, as he sipped his tea. From now on, I'll be just plain me. How'd you like that story, boys and girls? Sometimes we try to be something that we're really not, and it doesn't turn out very well. So just being yourself and being honest and being helpful and being friendly, that's the best that you can do. Thank you, boys and girls. I'll be back.